Man, I'm gonna have to make a playlist for all the times I record in my pajamas. Warning, what you're about to hear may or may not be true. It was up to you to find out what is truth and what are lies and slander. Hey there, internet. My friends call me Jay, and this is a fork, and this is a spoon. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that you have any kind of experience with these two lovely devices on your dining room table. Or maybe just for cereal. But tell me, what do you usually think happens when you combine the two together? That's right, I'm thinking of the good old-fashioned spork. And yes, I do in fact mean old-fashioned, because while you may only be familiar with those little things as plastic doo-wops sitting in the middle of an old Taco Bell, the spork actually came before both the fork and the spoon. This will take a history trip. First, we gotta go way back in time before any utensils when you were stuck there sitting with a knife and a bowl. Your only two real ways to eat things. Bowls are really good for liquid and knives are good for everything else. You might notice the problem with knives though is that they cut you and they hurt you and they're sharp usually or at least if you have a good one they are. And so some smarty pants a long time ago decided to find a way to combine the two together. You end up with the bowls at contribution being the spoon body and the prongs being that of a knife. And originally they were just all together because people wanted to carry around one utensil. And for a long time, that's what people use, is you use a spork. I don't think we called it a spork, that's definitely a modern name, but the spork was the big thing. It was your one utensil, along with the knife, I suppose. But speed forward a couple thousand years and you'll end up in a world where all of a sudden there's etiquette and a desire for fancy things, so you break them apart to have a more functioning utensil, because, let's be honest, the pokey parts weren't really that effective when you put them on the end of something else, and this whole little well thing doesn't work so well if there are holes down the front of it. So, in the end, you end up back with what we know today. The spoon and the fork, working with their good old boy, the knife. The OG utensil. So what do you think, Internet? Was I lying to or was I telling you the truth? If it makes you feel any better, everything from last episode was completely true. No jokes about it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you liked the video, I'll feel special in my heart places. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.